this is going to be another video on AutoCAD and Python using the Py AutoCAD module for AutoCAD optimization. Previous videos we looked at, for example, how to create arcs, how to create polygons with polylines. Uh, we introduced the Py AutoCAD module in general. We created ellipses and ellipse arcs, and in this video, I will show how to create splines and we published this blog post on our blog. You can find the link in the video description, um, which will give you access to the documentation used here in this video. Um, the first thing I'm doing here is I'm importing relevant methods from, or classes you could say, from PyAutoCAD. Um, so I need AutoCAD, I need A point and A double. Um, the first thing I'm then doing is to create an empty AutoCAD template. And once I've got that ready, I continue um, with uh, creating a, uh, a point list. So this A double, uh, this A double method or constructor will create a, an array of points, of coordinate points. And uh, the order here is basically x equals zero, y equals zero, z equals zero. And then we have the next uh, coordinate point in, in 3D specified as x equal to 42, y equal to 25, and z equal to 0, and so on. So this is simply an array being created here um, with the x, y, c uh, coordinates. So we have here four points in the form x, y, c. Uh, and since we are in 2D, uh, we set c to 0. So this is ref, uh, reference to, or the, the reference handler for this is P1, simply an array with all of the, the points um, that our spline is supposed to be um, comprised of or, or go through. So these are basically the fit points of the spline that we want to draw. Um, and what we can do now is we can call the add spline method. Uh, which will create a spline um, in the um, AutoCAD template. The parameters that are required for this is a, a points array. This is the area that we created here. And then we need to specify a vector in 3D representing the tangency of the spline at the start point. And we also need to specify a vector in 3D specifying the tangency of the spline at its end point. And these tangencies, uh, these 3D vectors, uh, we use A point objects for representing these 3D uh, tangency vectors. So I'm calling here the add spline uh, method um, on the uh, currently open uh, model in a near AutoCAD um, template. I'm handing over the, the points array, I'm specifying here tangencies at the start and end point of the spline. And if we then look on AutoCAD, it will have created a spline like this. It has four points, those are the fit points, and the tangency uh, by the spline is granted by these 3D vectors. We can now try to access some of the objects using PyAutoCAD. For example, we can test if it's closed in 2D space or 3D space. Um, if it's a closed um, spline, so the property handles for that is um, closed and closed to and the closed and closed to attribute. And we can see in this case the spline is, is not closed. We can also access um, a tuple with all of the control points of the spline by accessing the control points uh, property handler. Uh, and we can print that tuple, um, which is done here. We can also access the number of control points as another property of this spline object. And um, if we show this in our AutoCAD, these would be the uh, control points of the spline. In total, there are six as outputted here. And we have here a tuple uh, specifying the exact locations in XYC um, coordinate system for, for these control points. We can also check the degree, um, the poly polynomial degree of the spline. Uh, in 2D and in 3D. That's what's uh, being done here. 
Um, we can access again the tangencies that start with endpoint. Um, and we can also access the fit points. These were the, this is basically the, the, the points array that I passed on to the add spline method when creating the spline. Um, and we can also manipulate the fit tolerance. So if I manipulate the fit to tolerance, the, the shape of the spline will change. In this example, we set the fit tolerance to 15 and uh, the result will be the, 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 new, um, the new spline um, due to the adjusted fit tolerance uh, relating to the fit points. And there are various other properties uh, that we can access. Um, this is just a summary of the properties um, for spline that we already looked over, but there are also others. For example, we can check if it's periodic, is the spline planar or is it uh, rational? So a quick introduction to how you can create and manipulate splines and spline objects in AutoCAD using PyAutoCAD, meaning uh, Python uh, for AutoCAD optimization. And if you're interested in this documentation and also all of our other documentation on PyAutoCAD, you can um, click the link in the video description, which will take you to this blog post um, containing this documentation as well as other PyAutoCAD related um, documentation.